Hi boys and girls, my name is Jay and I am the author of The Orangutan Who Sank. And if that's okay, I'd love to read the story to you and I really hope you like it. Look up to the sky and gaze into the blue. Imagine a jungle that's waiting for you. Now picture the animals in all shapes and sizes and open your mind to a world of surprises. Come quickly, let's go, before they all flee. This magical land has so much to see. What's that over there? A big jungle school full of animals playing. Isn't it cool? There's baby crocs and stripy adders. They're playing with rocks and snakes and ladders. There's the tiniest frog you'll ever have seen. He's bouncing around on a huge trampoline. And can you spot the toucans with the big yellow beaks? They spend all their time playing hide and go seek. But wait, who's that creature way up in the trees? Above the giraffes, the birds and the bees. Why, it's Ollie the orangutan. He's kind of a monkey. He's orange and he's hairy and he's really quite funky. But you see, Ollie is different from most girls and boys. He's not playing with poo sticks, not playing with toys, for he has a talent, an incredible voice. He'd sing night and day if he had the choice, but you won't hear him sing, not this hairy guy. Although Ollie's big, he's incredibly shy. The whole problem started a long time ago when Ollie attended the school talent show. He thought he was ready, his mouth opened wide, but the sounds were all silent, whatever he tried. He struggled so often to quash all these fears. Whenever he tries, he just ends up in tears. So that's where we find him, way up high in the sky, all on his own, a solitary guy. But hold on a second, isn't he big? Too big to be sitting on that flimsy twig. It's starting to bend, it's starting to break. That twig won't hold Ollie in all of his weight. Snap! <gasps> and with that, his face turned quite pale, followed quite quickly by a loud monkey wail. Oh no, cried a toad with a deafening croak. The branch that hold Ollie has finally broke. The animals gawped as he crashed to the ground, smacking the floor with a deafening sound. And there Ollie lay for many a while, a rough mound of fur all laid in a pile. His friends, they were worried, so they called for a nurse. He took their concerns for giggles or worse. Seeking safety ahead, he jumped to his feet. He's running away, squawked a small parakeet. It was all as a blur as he rushed through the trees, Plants, bushes and flowers all buzzing with bees. Feeling exhausted, he searched for some shade and found himself standing in a wild jungle glade. Meanwhile, up above our poor monkey's head, an owl had just yawned and got out of bed. What's all this noise outside of my house? He was hungry for lunch and he fancied a mouse. But before he could swoop from his perch down to see if it was a creature to have for his tea, his ears, they were met with a marvellous sound floating up from beneath him, way down on the ground. Ollie, he was singing a beautiful song, a hypnotic tale called, I want to belong. The owl swooped and swooned to the wonderful rhyme, his wings just like jungle drums, beating in time. What a tune, screeched the owl, laughing and cheering, as he flew further down to the small open clearing. The places I've flown, the things that I've seen. I've never heard a song so serene. Ollie, he was frightened, he was fearing the worst. The most pensive of primates was convinced he was cursed. And as quick as he'd come, our orangutan fled, and the welcoming owl returned to his bed. Now, back at the school, the creatures stood round. They were frightened their friend would never be found. OK, listen up, said the gorilla headmaster. If we all work together, we'll find Ollie faster. I want you to search every tree, cave and lake. Ask every warthog, dart frog and snake. Now all of you go, but remain in plain sight, especially those with the power of flight. Not far from his friends, Ollie came to a rest, sat by a river, hot pounding his chest. Sitting and wondering what others had said, I know, he thought, a song might clear my head. But out of the river, there was a pair of big eyes that were using the reeds as a clever disguise. The largest of crops were sat waiting for lunch, hoping for something that had a good crunch. Yet. Right at that moment, Ollie started to rhyme. Was this the last action before the croc's crime? Dreaming of nibbling a fine monkey toe, the sound made croc stop, and she swayed to and fro. Now you'll have to wait a very long while till you come across a jive crocodile. That's what was happening to this crazy croc. She was out of the water and ready to rock. Back at the clearing without the Ferrari, Al told the headache an incredible story. Ollie orangutan, said the gorilla confused. I've never heard him sing. He sounded bemused. The owl, he was insistent. He wanted to go. There's no time to waste, he said, tapping his toe. The owl flew off first with the others behind. 
They shouted out loud, We have a monkey to find! Way out in the jungle, Ollie tried not to cry. The croc almost ate me and I don't know why. Then, he heard something. Was it laughter or clapping? Or was it mischievous monkeys all rapping? As he crept closer, he started to hum. He wanted to know where the noise had come from. Dancing and singing and laughter and more, all round a campfire, a blaze on the floor. He laughed at them. They were all break dancing and singing. Some banged their drums, some had bells they were ringing. Finally, monkeys that I can call friends. My solitary life can come to an end. Then, Ollie realised something was a bit odd. With his new chimp crew, his singing ape squad. Where are these animals' tails and their claws? Soft furry noses and warm padded paws. They're humans, not monkeys. Oh golly, oh geez. A monkey then smiled and dropped to his knees. For Ollie was now no longer in doubt. It was finally time for his rhymes to come out. Our orange orangutan called out to the group. Do you mind if I join in your musical troupe? The scouts gathered round our happy ape friend and Ollie sang songs he'd previously penned. Then all of a sudden, with tunes on the breeze, the gorilla headmaster emerged from the trees. Quick, quick, everybody. So look who we found. I can't believe Ollie was making that sound. And all the school animals then came into view. And as soon as he saw them, Ollie just knew that singing and rhyming could make his friends grin. It was time for the group to come and join in. The chimps, they were bouncing and making a scene. Jumping and leaping, they smashed tambourines. Gorilla Headmaster, well, he clearly knows how to get the best sound from a set of bongos. The earth, it vibrated and started to quake. That's what you get from a drum playing snake. The children and animals sang all through the night to Ollie's excitement, joy and delight. So farewell, young Ollie. Go sing with your gang. We're proud to have met you, the orangutan who sang. And that's the story, boys and girls. All about a little orangutan called Ollie. And the message to the story is really, really important. You know, if you're ever feeling shy or ever feeling nervous, just remember that mums and dads and your teachers, adults, everyone gets shy sometimes. But if you talk to somebody and you have a bit of fun and maybe do some singing like Ollie the Orangutan, it will all be better. I hope you love the story and we'd like to see you again very, very soon.